Um, I think it's a bit of a symbolic barrier that we break here. I mean, we know from theoretical modeling that DNA can survive for really, really long times. And scientists have before proposed that this one million year old barrier will be broken at some point. But now we're finally here. You know, we finally can show that DNA really can survive uh, into these really, really old time scales. And that opens new possibilities for, for new exciting science. Well, we'll get to the possibilities a bit later, but talk us through the process behind extracting organic samples that enable the genomes to be sequenced. Yeah, so this is quite a challenging process that has been really, we have made a lot of technological improvement in the last years um, in order to make this possible. So what we are working with is really, really tiny amounts of DNA material that is left in these samples. So we have to use very specific lab protocols to really be able to extract all those really tiny, tiny little fragments of DNA that, that are remaining in the sample. And then we combine that with computational method, methods. So we have specific algorithms that help us to puzzle back these really, really tiny pieces back together into, into a genome. Um, and these are technologies that only very recently um, have made this possible. Of course, physically, it's a, a small uh, discovery, but of course, it, from a physical point of view, it's a mammoth uh, task, if you can <laughs> accept that pun. But it's early days in what and what more can you and other scientists learn from this ancient DNA and, and tell us what the possibilities are and how far can it take us into understanding fauna and environment more than a million years ago? Yes, yeah, so what we have been able to do now is actually to look specifically into the, the mammoth DNA from a million years back in time. So we we literally travel back in time and, and study evolution as it happened. Um, so for instance, in the case of, of the woolly mammoth, we had a pretty good understanding before which genes are involved in adaptation to the, to the Arctic climate. Uh, as you know, the woolly mammoth was, was highly adapted to its environment. But up till now, we didn't really know when these genes evolved and whether they, this all happened in a very rapid burst of evolution or whether this was a more gradual long-term process. So now by traveling back in time for a million years, we, we can show that many of those genes were already evolved um, back a million years ago. So that suggests to us that this process of adaptation to this environment was more of a, of a gradual evolution. Um, and then um, together with this finding, I, I hope this also inspires many other researchers that, that want to look at, at their study species or, or certain uh, other interests they have going back this far in time that um, they now get motivated by actually trying their, their crazy projects or their crazy samples because now we, we show that um, it is possible, uh, if you're a bit lucky, it is possible to get DNA from these really, really old specimens. Of course, lots of possibilities for the future, but given the conditions were near perfect to preserve this particular mammoth specimen, it, it really begs the question, Tom, uh, what else is out there? Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I mean, we have to... Uh, be a bit conservative here and, and as you mentioned these specimens have been perfectly preserved in the permafrost um, throughout those last million years um, and we know that in more temperate regions so where the temperatures are higher um, it is very very unlikely that we will ever be able to to extract dna this old um, having said that um, there is permafrost that is definitely older than one million years so so some of the permafrost layers go back to to up to 2.5 million years ago um, so taking that into account, we, we can expect in the, in the future, possibly even older DNA finds coming from these really, really old permafrost layers. Yeah, fascinating insights. Tom Vandervalk, thanks very much. Thank you so much.